Hello again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in The Sims 4. Happy Wednesday, I hope you're all having the most amazing day ever so far and thank you so much for joining me here today. It completely probably feels like a bit of a random upload considering I haven't uploaded in over a week which is very very unlike me however work's been really really busy i've had some uh like outings outside of the house i know pause for like reaction because i never leave the house out of choice because i'm a bit of a homebody but i've had a few outings out of the house with family and such and i also managed to get like a mysterious illness like a, some sort of cold mixed with my hair fever so i've been sounding really really bunged up and i haven't really had the energy to uh do any work in the sims or edit videos or obviously do any voiceovers because my voice was sounding incredibly i was just so bunged up and gross i was like you guys do not want to be listening to that anyway how are you all i feel like we need to have a little bit of a catch up but before we do i would just like to point out that i am currently right now building not right now but i am building on a 64 by 64 lot in brindleton bay now this is highly unusual for me i th i think I think I can honestly say this is my first attempt ever on the channel at 64 by 64 lot. Wow. Anyway, we are building a family sort of ranch and I'm using the term ranch quite loosely here because again i think we need to talk about this as well because there's obviously a little bit of speculation floating around in the community at the moment about a potential it's all speculation at this point horses pack so I was feeling a little bit uninspired and I'm thinking, what what can I build? What should I build? It feels like it's been a long time since I've built like a big build, right? So I'm thinking, why don't I just try a ranch with items that we've currently got in game? And then obviously, if the horses pack does end up being a real thing, either we can edit this or we can just build another one. It doesn't really matter. So I really, really hope you have some sort of use for this lot. I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> me personally i'm not i'm not convinced i have the right sort of family in mind to live on this lot but this would be a perfect 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 um for like a generations sort of style gameplay and if you're wanting to um sort of dabble in some farming there's lots of there's lots and lots and lots going on we've got a cow we've got chickens we've got places to plant crops we've got two barns we've got a beautiful big house with three bedrooms three bathrooms there's plenty to do on this lot and i think it turned out pretty nice actually considering this is way 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 outside of my comfort zone let's consider this a little bit of a test because if we do end up getting a horses pack this is like my sort of practice round you know so if we do get the pack then i can build something like epic when it actually comes out but anyway <laughs> we are currently working on the exterior here this is where like the little chicken coop goes i really had no idea how i wanted to lay this lot out and i would like to just point out that i freestyled 80 percent of this lot and when i say 80 percent, what i mean by that <laughs> is I actually used a reference image for the house itself, which is just in the top left hand corner here. I'll put it on screen for you now so that you can see the general shape that we were going for. Obviously, as you can see from the thumbnail, because obviously you've clicked on the thumbnail to visit this video. <laughs> the color scheme, I, I just went off on my own sort of thing. But the, the general shape, I actually really, really, really fell in love with. I found, I basically typed in on Pinterest. I was like ranch style house, family house. And it came up with lots and lots of things but what i wanted i didn't want the house to be i know this is going to sound a little bit weird i didn't want ne the house necessarily to be the focal point of this lot i wanted the lot to sort of come together and and just be one sort of entity this probably doesn't make any sense i feel like when i haven't done a voiceover for a little while i feel like i'm quite wired and i just feel like i can just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk <laughs> so i'm so so sorry for this if you haven't already grabbed a beverage of choice then please 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 do so because i think this is going to end up being just over a half an hour video which i haven't done for quite some time actually so i'm super excited to have a chat with you all and like i said have a little bit of a catch up so i'd love to hear what you guys have been doing we are in the height of summer now Ah, we've talked about this on the channel before. Summer is my least favorite season of all the seasons. It goes autumn is my favorite, and then winter is my second, and then spring, and then summer. If if it can even be on the list, because me and summer just don't get along generally. We we just we just really don't. 
but in the summertime is the time of year when people generally get together with family they have barbecues family outings meet up with friends etc etc so i'm just wondering what you guys have been doing recently like i said i i've had a little bit of like a a busy spree really um which isn't which isn't like me like i said i'm, I'm a little bit of a home bird i love being at home <laughs> uh just doing whatever really like chilling out gaming watching a film spending time with the husband like it doesn't really matter what it is cleaning i love cleaning it's my therapy cleaning is my therapy um just things like that so yeah i'm, I'm generally a homebody so when i do go out it's i struggle sometimes in like because i feel like social situations drain me too i feel like my social battery i've got like a social battery and if i'm spending all day like socializing I feel like I have to recharge the battery. So anyway, I don't know why I decided to tell you that. That was a little bit personal, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so you can already see the ranch. Can this be classed as a ranch? I'm actually having a think about this now. It's probably more like a ranch farm sort of situation because we have used a lot of items from Cottage Living. Um, so I feel like it. they work really, really well in Brindleton Bay. Obviously they work better in Henford on Bagley, but I wanted to use a combination of like cats and dogs stuff, which is obviously the pack that Brindleton Bay shipped with, along with items from Cottage Living. Now, just to talk about something else here as well, I was having a major, major, major issue with terrain paint disappearing and just like flashing and it was just weird. So the terrain paint that you're seeing here is ever so slightly different in the final build it's not even worth mentioning i just thought i'd talk about it because it's so frustrating when terrain paint doesn't stay where it's supposed to because it's like um hello terrain paint takes a long time to put down and then it just disappears it's like it's really really annoying anyway i would also like to point out that there's like currently there's like a little little area at the top right hand corner there where i've built like it looks like a little shack basically i do end up replacing that with some debug buildings from cottage living because the shack I, I don't know what i was thinking that there was a lot of trial and error involved with this build and i did cut some of it out of the footage because if i'd have kept it all in i think we'd have been looking at an hour easily an hour uh, an hour's worth of footage i don't know about you but i i can't imagine anyone would want to sit and hear me speak for an hour i'm just putting that out there um and please please, please i'm not fishing for compliments whatsoever i'm being deadly serious <laughs> nobody wants to hear me talking for an hour nobody wants to see me building for an hour so i have cut certain bits out so um when we get onto the inside of the house i didn't film any of the bathrooms and i didn't film the um, like the hallway. I didn't film some of the landscaping surrounding the house. I also had a really, really, really tough time with the color scheme for the house itself. So I, I spent an embarrassingly long time on the color scheme. So I ended up pulling some of that footage out too, because I did land on, I think, did I land on a blue color? Is that what color I landed on? <laughs> I genuinely can't remember actually thinking about it. Um, anyway, or is it this color? I'm trying to think what color this house ended up being. I've literally just closed the game down as well. Like, how can I forget what the house looks like? Absolute classic, Rachel. Are we surprised? I, for one, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, you'll see me fiddling around here with some doors, some windows. I don't think I changed the siding again on camera. As I said, I do do that off camera. I believe I end up settling on a, like a dark brown wallpaper swatch from the Growing Together pack of all packs. So I just think it worked. Here we are. It just worked really, really well, I thought. I thought it just blended in really nicely. And as I said, I didn't want the house to stick out. I didn't want anything to really stick out. I wanted everything to sort of come together as this one cohesive build and because i've never tackled a 64 by 64 lot before this is this is all alien to me i had no idea how to lay out any of the the items the landscaping to make it look full and and interesting because 64 by 64 is a big lot my comfort zone is anywhere from the 20 20 by 15 maybe up to a 40 by 30 like that's my, that's my sort of comfort zone this wow i uh, i i'm not gonna lie I did struggle in parts because my brain sometimes can't comprehend like, okay, so that's the house and then that's the, like some of the barns and this is the, yeah, I, I, I often think I can't ever make stuff like this look good. So I think there are certain elements of this that do look a little bit, uh, I don't know what the word is, like 
like they don't flow very well or I don't know whether that's just me being super hard on myself because I'm just generally hard on myself anyway so I don't know anyway so you'll also notice I have pulled out some debug menu items from the Strangerville pack because I was trying to look for these you see this look like big metal cylinder thing I have no idea what that's called I, someone I'm sure in the comments will tell me please do because I, I feel like I'm a little bit naive when it comes to stuff like this I just know that they you see them on farms and ranches and things it's probably not in the right place or anything like that but it gives it's it's there for aesthetics only it gives the vibe um anyway so I was really struggling to find it and I was on discord at the time talking to my two wonderful best friends uh, Reese and April and I said right someone needs to tell me where these items are because I know they're in the game and I'm driving myself crazy trying to find them and April came back and she was like they're from Strangerville they're from debug in Strangerville and I'm like really Strangerville of all packs so when I went to the debug menu and I found them and I was like oh April you've saved my life so thank you April I've already, I'm sure I've already thanked you but thank you <laughs> anyway the house has come together really really nicely I'm just finishing up some of the landscaping around the house just to make it look like it's its own thing you know like it, it's it's sort of in the corner I wanted it to be super pretty and the interior of this is actually really really interesting so I can't wait to show you a little bit more of that the barns so the red barn and then like the grayish brownie barn they are they are decorated inside but they're just full of like clutter items like storage items so they've got like um a christmas tree in you know like woodworking benches boxes uh, the attic stack from um the seasons pack so you can decorate the house in in winter and stuff like that just things like that it's got like a running machine a punching bag uh, I think there's a piano in one of them like it's just all sorts of things you know because I was I was really really struggling I knew that I wanted them on the lot but I didn't know how to make them functional because like I said obviously we don't have horses yet I don't know if we are going to be having them at any point but that's the you know that's the buzz around the community at the moment it'd be super exciting if we do get them but obviously if we do then I'll be able to either re like I said revamp this lot or create a whole different lot because I'm sure We'll get some like proper items anyway this is me here again changing the terrain i don't know why i kept this footage in actually because as i said the terrain just kept deleting itself it, kept, it was just it was just a nightmare so the terrain that you see here isn't the terrain that you end up seeing in the final build but it's really not that big of a deal at all i just thought i'd mention it because i think i had to redo the terrain i'd say five times altogether it just kept erasing and it was so 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 annoying so Anyway, I hope that glitch is fixed now because we did get like a really, really quick patch yesterday, I believe. Anyway, this is the interior of the house. So we are now going to be working on the house for the remainder of the video. So as you can see, it was kind of a little bit of a challenge to actually lay this one out because of the shape and the fact that it's only one story. It's um, super, super amazing for gameplay. One story builds for gameplay are like chef's kiss. They, they really, really are. But I think sometimes when it comes to the floor plan, they are a little bit more challenging to try and figure out. So I did the best I could with what I had. I'm sure there's someone out there who's far more talented than I am who can create some like a better floor plan for this build. But I did end up being able to manage what on earth am I trying to say? I did end up managing to fit <laughs> three really good sized bedrooms, three bathrooms. Obviously, we've got like a living room and then a kitchen dining room as well and a really, really big hallway. So it worked out really, really well. Anyway, we do start with the living room. I do pull these sofas out from the, I think they're from the industrial loft kit randomly, which I know seems a bit strange, but the interior of this house is very, it doesn't really have a particular style and that's exactly what I was going for. So I wanted the house to be really warm, friendly, um, very homey but rustic and also kind of stylish at the same time with like a sort of like a ranch feel like a ranch cottagey feel which is really quite hard to sort of pinpoint and pin down when you actually say things like that out loud so I did use a variety of items from a wide range of packs for this build and um, just speaking of that right now I, I do think I need to do another base game build very very shortly because I feel like it's been a while since I've done one either that or I do like a a base game and then a, a pack build or something like that I, I don't know at this point I, I just know that I need to do at least a base game build <laughs> or something of the sort uh, not that I don't love playing with all the items that we have because I think um 
And I'm going to say something quite controversial now. Even with the introduction of kits, and I know kits are still like a Marmite sort of situation. You either love them or you hate them. I um, I love some of the kits. I don't think all of the kits are worth buying. I'm just going to throw that out there. I think some of the kits are absolutely worth buying. And I do think the latest kits that we've received, that we've started to receive in the last year especially, are superb. Like, they're absolutely incredible. So... I don't know why I started talking about that. See what I mean about the voiceover thing? I feel like I'm just so, <laughs> I'm so out of it. Anyway, the living room actually took me a really, really long time to try and put together. For some reason, it was definitely the most challenging room of the entire house. I think it's because I started on this room. This was the first room that I worked on in this house and it set the precedence for the rest of the house. So like, so like the, the rest of the house it was going to follow suit basically so for me to try and nail down this this style that I had in my head that I've seen on social media in magazines I was like oh I don't know how to do this and I wanted it to be really really family friendly as well and I wanted it to just be really inviting and just absolutely gorgeous so uh this rug actually ended up tying the room together really really well it's the one from the werewolves pack but sized up one with the shift open bracket key and I actually think it looks really, really good. It just tied the room together really, really nicely and just gave it that really nice final touch that I, I suppose I was looking for with some of the other rugs uh, from various packs. I also really, really like the choice of curtains in this room as well. These are actually from the Cats and Dogs pack. So you will see me using a lot of items from specifically Cats and Dogs, Cottage Living, and then, like I said, there's a, there's a little bit of a... A mixture <laughs> thrown in there to achieve the look that we were going for and then I end up deciding to do like a brick wall behind the fireplace because I just thought it made sense I think it just it works so well gives it again that really really nice sort of rustic vibe and I'm gonna be honest I don't know why this time around I was struggling with this I was struggling with filling wall spaces which is something that I I struggle with sometimes, but not always, especially with bigger builds, I find I tend to struggle. And I would say that this house is slightly on the larger side. I think some people may disagree with that and that's absolutely fine. But I think considering it's all on one story, I, I do think it's quite, a, it's quite a sizable house. The rooms are very big and they definitely surprised me when, it, when I ended up coming into the house. I was thinking, oh, the house is gonna be like the easiest bit. Like once I've done the outside, the house will be easy. I think the house definitely ended up being probably the most challenging part of the entire build <laughs> for some unknown reason. I think it's because of the interior style that I was wanting to go for and sort of nail, nail down. That's why I struggled. Anyway, this is the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so these cabinets, so not the cabinets, the counters are from the Country Kitchen kit. The cabinets are from Jungle Adventure. I, I do often like mismatching my cabinets with the um, counters. <laughs> Why can I not speak today? Anyway, uh, we ended up adding another fireplace in here too because I feel I, I just feel like that that would be quite realistic. I feel like um, a lot of houses like this would have a fireplace in the kitchen please correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, I didn't do any research into the interior style of the house. I, I just kind of went with it. So if I've got anything wrong, please let me know. But I really, really tried my best to nail, to nail the style as much as I could. I suppose you can't really go wrong with a house like this because people's interior decor style is, it is what it is. I, I, I think some people, um, tend to go for like modern contemporary some people don't really go for a style and they just have furniture in there I think it just completely depends on the on the family um and what you're wanting to go for really so and by all means I say this I, I say this all the time if you want to make any changes then please feel free to do so because you are absolutely more than welcome um but the the kit uh, I know I said the living room was the most challenging <laughs> room of the house I am actually gonna change my answer because up until I'd started to do the kitchen, I was like, okay, now this is the most challenging room. Hmm, no. Uh, so <laughs> the most challenging room I think for this house for me was definitely the twin room, which is just on the right-hand side of the kitchen here. And the reason for that is because I was struggling really, really badly with the color scheme that I wanted to go for. And you will see the color scheme. We'll talk a lot about it when we move on to that room because 
looking back on the screenshots i'm i'm really not happy with that room at all if if you do download this house obviously you might like the room and that's great if you do like not a problem at all but it, it just it ends up being a little bit too bright i think for me because it's a kid's room it's supposed to have like two twin daughters is what i imagined in there and then the other room is for like a teenage son that was my sort of vision for this family um, but yeah, I went, I went very, very bright on that room and I do regret it. So <laughs> as I said, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get in there. But I did also imagine that this family had a dog uh, because, you know, what's a farm or a ranch without a dog, right? You know, the, I think the likelihood of this family having a dog is pretty high. So I do end up adding a pet bowl in here, which is something... And I talk about this all the time too. I have two dogs myself and the amount of time, I can count on one hand the amount of times that I put a pet ball or have put a pet ball in my Sims builds, like on one hand, which is super weird because I feel like I always want to try and just maximize the amount of Sims in the house rather than the pets, but because obviously like the pets account for one slot out of the eight that you can have uh, for the household. But um, yeah, some, for some reason they seem to fly right under my radar quite a lot of the time. So. <laughs> It is what it is. Anyway, I digress. The kitchen is very nearly done. I think I end up adding some tiling to the kitchen floor, but I can't remember if I do that on camera or off camera. I bet I do it off camera. Oh no, I don't, I do it on camera. There we go. I just feel like it adds a little bit more, more to the kitchen. It makes it look a little bit, a little bit more rustic. Um, so this is the main bedroom. As I was saying at the beginning and explaining at the beginning, all three bathrooms were decorated off camera along with the big hallway because I just didn't feel I just didn't feel like there was any real need to include that footage. They they're all pretty much laid out the same. They use the same sort of furniture and I just felt like it would have wasted a lot of time. So I decided against it. So I really hope you don't mind. Normally, I'll film one bathroom being done and then not the others because I tend to follow suit with the bathrooms, but with this build <laughs> because it was so big, I was like, yeah, I'm just not going to include any of the bathrooms. So Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, so this is, like I said, this is the main bedroom. I do end up adding a fireplace in here along with two armchairs, which I thought was just the sweetest thing ever. I can imagine the parents like grabbing a morning coffee and lighting the fire and just sitting and relaxing and taking in the views. I also add off camera, I add like a little cot at the end of the bed for, an, not, uh, for a newborn. So I also imagine that, that the family has just welcomed a new addition to their to their household. So that's super, super nice. So I'm trying to work out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven, including the dog. I would say Sims live here. So that, that was just, again, my sort of view on it, my, in, my vision. That's what it was. Uh, obviously, as I said, please feel free to change anything you need to. So this is my least favorite room of the entire house. And I will speak as to why that is. <laughs> so right now it starts off really quite uh, muted, quite neutral, and then I start playing around with some posters. I mean, this is just me all over because me and kids' rooms, I like they go like bread and butter. I love kids' rooms. I love decorating kids' rooms because you can really, really get creative with them. You can go super colorful, super cluttered, and you can just really, really express the Sims in the room and I absolutely love doing that if you are returning to the channel you'll already know this so I do love doing kids rooms usually unfortunately on this occasion I think I was a little bit thrown off by first of all the size of the room and also the shape of the room it's really quite long and slim and it's it's huge for a kids room this is huge which for gameplay is absolutely fantastic on the money like yes but visually and aesthetically it doesn't work i just i just don't like this room and it didn't matter matter nah, it didn't matter what i did i could not get this room i, I just yeah i kind of wish i'd have just left this out of the footage but then i feel like i'm doing you guys a disservice by doing that so that's why i included it so then i start playing around with some rugs i start introducing some colors into the room and then i'm like okay well then let's just go for like a like a bluey, pinky, yellowy, pastel-y theme, right? And then it just, it all starts to go downhill from here, really. I just think it's too bright. I think the wallpaper's wrong. I think, I think that's probably all it is. I just think the wallpaper is wrong. I feel like it maybe should be green or like a darker pink or something like that, but it's just, ugh. 
I just don't like it. <laughs> so I'm now going to have to have a little bit of a ramble while we finish this room. La 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 la. Anyway, so what's going on with you guys? I know I asked you that at the beginning, but yeah, please drop me some comments down below and tell me what you've been doing recently. What are, you, what are your plans for the summer? Because um, my plan is to stay indoors uh, as much as possible. Stay cool and try not to lose my mind when I can't sleep because it's so warm. Unfortunately, in the UK, our houses are not designed to cope well with heat. Our houses are designed to keep heat in because generally we do live in quite a cold, wet, damp country. So our houses are sort of designed to keep the heat in, which in summer, it's not good. It's not a good thing. I live in a three-story house, so all the all the heat gets trapped on the top floor, which is where my office is and which is where my bedroom is. So it's just like a deadly combination, really. <laughs> so I've got no chance, absolutely no chance heading into into the the rest of summer. So anyway, countdown to autumn begins. Uh, <laughs> This is the final room of the house. You can breathe a sigh of relief. This is the teen boys room or what I envisioned to be the teen boys room. Again, really, really big size. He's got his own bathroom, which is super exciting. I use a lot of items from the high school years pack in this room because I just think they work super well. This is one of my favorite beds to use. I've used it in plenty of builds in the past. Uh, again, if you return to the channel, then you'll know this. <laughs> you'll be like, Rachel, are you using that, that bed? again yes i am <laughs> it's one of my favorite beds i absolutely love it so uh yeah i this room is probably my favorite of the bedrooms definitely it probably has the most character the the clutter makes the most sense it's got a nice color scheme going on it just feels it feels like a sim lives here and it feels like it's definitely a teenage boy who is into gaming and music and having his friends round and yeah it's just it's fantastic i i do i do really really like this room I tend to cope better and do better when my bedrooms are smaller, you know, just sort of feeding back into the conversation we've just had about the other bedroom. Uh, yeah, I just feel like they work a lot better when they're smaller. I think you can you can do a lot more with the space. You can clutter things up a little bit more. You can make things a little bit more balanced. I think when rooms are this big, anyone would struggle really, but um, especially me because I'm not yeah just not where i shine unfortunately so this is the keyboard as i said they do have a gaming desk as well with a gaming chair because perhaps they're into either gaming streaming graphic design music production something like that so yeah super super happy with this there's lots of posters on the wall as i said there's a lot of clutter in this room just to try and showcase and show off who this sim really is but you'll be glad to know that this is the end of the video so you can grab this house from the gallery right now. My origin ID is Rachel Ped. Tray files, as always, are linked down in the description box below. You can get them for free from Sim File Share. But I just wanted to thank you all so much for joining me here today. Uh, next video is probably going to be at the weekend. I need, to, I need to decide what I'm building and what I'm doing. But yeah, next video is at the weekend. Uh, yeah, you all take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.